So listen, I know that setting up a Trello productivity workflow can sometimes seem pretty overwhelming. In this video, we're going to break it down into five super basic steps so that you can have an amazing productivity workflow that helps you get things done faster, but without all the tech overwhelm. Let's get into it. All right, familia, step number one is to get your Trello board created. Now I have a brand new one. I haven't done anything to it, but if you don't know how to create a board, it's super simple. Click on this plus button right over on your Trello account, create board, give it a title, figure out where you want it to live, under which team, if you have a paid account, if not, just create it there and boom, you can just get started with creating your new board. It's really that simple. Now, I haven't done anything with mine, but that is step number one. Get yourself a Trello board. And don't worry, we have a blank slate. I know it can be overwhelming, but we're gonna take it one step at a time. And step number two is to create your list. Now Trello normally works with a Kanban workflow where you're moving from left to write. And although you can literally use your Trello board in a myriad of ways, this is how we're going to use it. So number one, we're going to create a list of things to do this week. Next, doing and done. Literally that simple. Now you can add more lists to this board according to your individual personal workflow, but for now we're gonna keep it ultra simple and just keep it at three individual lists. From here, we're gonna move into step number three, which is where we're going to brain dump everything that we need to get done this week. All right, great job. You're literally halfway there. The next step is just to set deadlines to each one of, or due dates to each one of your cards. So you can say, okay, so on Monday, I'm going to be creating this monthly content calendar. So I'm going to set this up for Monday. Save. Awesome. I'm going to talk to the CPA also on Monday. And I'm going to make sure that I'm going to do that and get it done and so on and so forth. You want to analyze what days of the week make sense for you to complete individual tasks and when they need to get done. So remember, if it's not scheduled, it doesn't get done. And you want to make sure that you're always assigning due dates and planning your week ahead of time. And this is where you can do that. Now, if you want to have these due dates set up in chronological order, you can just easily arrange them and say, okay, you know, February 8th, everything that's due then I'm going to organize at the top. And then we're going to move into February 9th and move all those cards and just have it all in order. Or you can just enable the calendar power up, which is a free power up that you can make use of inside of Trello right here. I'm used to typing in content. It's calendar. We're going to add that. And then when you click on this calendar tab, you can see when all of your tasks are due from a calendar view. That's really awesome. You can click on them, complete them, work on them, etc. Now, if you don't want to use a month view, you can also just use the weekly view, which kind of shows you where all your tasks are due and what is actually coming up. So I'm going to X out of this and kind of show you again what this looks like. And from there, you just move into the last step, which is getting work done and starting to move your tasks as you begin them. So let's say that I'm starting off with creating my monthly calendar. Once I start Started working on that task, I can move it to the doing list, work on it, attach anything that I need to, add checklists, add labels, maybe collaborate with another member, and I'm good to go. As you move throughout the entire week, you can start moving tasks to the done list, and there you have it. That's how you create a super simple Trello productivity workflow that is easy, that is free, and that will help skyrocket your productivity. Now, I could talk about Trello all day long, but I want you to watch my other tutorial videos. And by popular demand, I thought you should know that we have new Trello templates available for purchase. You asked for them and they're here. So you can click on the link below in the description box to find out more. All right, I'll see you on the next tutorial. Un beso, bye for now.